Hello, in this video I want to talk to you a little bit about my offer of Skype video lessons. If you're just interested in technical details uh, of the whole thing, just click the link down below and you will be directed to a detailed description. Um, but if you have a couple of minutes to spare, uh, let's get started. So I have been playing the guitar since 2004 and I have been teaching it since 2012. I teach at home, I teach at local culture center, I have about 20 students a week and um, it's not my full-time job but, uh, but it's pretty close to that. And um, what I find so appealing about teaching is um, that it's so intellectually uh, heavy, so it's so intellectually involved because it's not only uh, about teaching someone to play one particular song. Uh, it's rather, uh, and I think it's true about all the teaching in general, it's rather about um, identifying problems, difficulties, it's about uh, conceptualizing them, understanding them, and it's about solving them. And uh, the role of a teacher, as I said, uh, is uh, at the same level uh, helping someone to play one particular song well, so to get nice effect, but also to give him all those strategies, all those ways to cope with uh, difficulties. Uh, and I, I find it uh, very appealing, uh, not only in, uh, in guitar, but uh, in life in general. So I actually think that I taught myself to play the guitar with, with some uh, help of, uh, of others, but I never had uh, I never had a teacher, and now um, for about uh, three months now, I I am s uh, learning to play the piano as well, uh, and I have a teacher and uh, she's really great, uh, and only now I can identify how much um, how much the teacher uh, can be helpful for uh, for my development, so it also. Um, it also uh, gave me more, you could say, self-respect as a guitar teacher, because previously I really didn't uh, didn't think that the teacher is so important, especially if a student wants to learn on on his own. But uh, when I came around this uh, this piano teacher and we worked together really well, um, my view on it uh, changed and I can appreciate my work uh, even more. So that's my uh, rationale as, as a teacher. Uh, but why Skype teaching? Uh, first of all, uh, there are only a couple of hours uh, during the day that my students actually want lessons, right? Because they usually want a guitar lesson after they come back from school, from work. So that's just a couple of hours uh, around afternoon and, and evening. Um, and if I want to, to have more students, um, actually the, the only uh, way I thought about to find them uh, is to find them in different time zones, right? So um, you, you prob probably hear that it's not my first language, uh, English is not my first language, I am from Poland, uh, but thanks to, thanks to English I can also engage uh, people who want to learn the guitar all around the world. One more reason why I decided uh, to, to begin those Skype lessons, and it's important for me, but I guess also for you. Uh, in the town uh, of 40,000 people where I live, uh, it's not that easy to find people who are really fascinated about fingerstyle. So I have only a couple of, uh, of such students. Most of my students um, are people who aren't really sure what they would want to do with uh, their guitar skills. So we do a bit of everything, right? We, we explore, we do some chords, we do some improvisation even. Uh, but um, people who could most benefit, uh, who could benefit most from my lessons, I think, are people who are as fascinated with fingerstyle as I am, right? Because that's my area of expertise. Um, so we could r really dig into that. Um, and 
probably in uh, in a lot of towns where y you potential uh, potential client of mine uh, are living uh, there aren't uh, dedicated finger style teachers there uh, there aren't people who who specialize in this this way of playing mm, so skype might be the only way for you to to get such a teacher which is great for the teacher because he teaches what he loves and for student because uh, he has a teacher who specializes in what the student loves so why you as a student should choose skype video lessons Obviously, uh, Skype isn't a um, perfect teaching tool. Um, there are a couple of things that the teacher can't do if he's on the other side of the screen, which he could do if he was there with you. Uh, so, for example, uh, he can't correct manually correct your position. He can't um, tune your guitar for you. He can't jam with you because the latency uh, is, is too big. On Skype but um, if there is one style that is better than any other to, to teach and to learn through Skype I think it's finger style because uh, there is not that much of uh, playing together uh, in it uh, you usually play on your own uh, so uh, so yeah this is not that big of a problem and uh, the auditory and visual channel of communication is um, not not perfect, but it's sufficient to to pass uh, to pass the information you need. Um, there are also other advantages, of course. Uh, main advantage is uh, comfort, right? You can uh, you can just turn on your computer at the given hour. Uh, set your uh, set your favorite T mug, and uh, we can have at it, right? You don't have to go through uh, snow, rain, or whatever to reach your teacher. Um, also, uh, obviously, not in every not in every town uh, or even city, probably there is a, a guitarist that is finger style oriented. So if you are mainly interested in finger style, you will not always be able to find a face-to-face -face teacher who will be able to, to teach you that. Right? So Skype may be your only option. And final thing, uh, this, this time zone thing. Uh, it probably works uh, as well for you as for me, because uh, many hours that uh, could suit you in, in, in some situations, uh, aren't, for example, normal uh, normal working hours in uh, in your time zone. So, for, for example, if you if you want a lesson at uh, six in the morning, or uh, or ten p.m. or something like that, um, you won't probably get it. Uh, get a teacher who who is happy to do that for you locally, but you might find uh, one in different time zones. And um, obviously, it's mainly directed to uh, to English uh, speaking people, but your English doesn't have to be all that good in in order for us to to communicate sufficiently. Right? So you, you could also perceive it if you're not a native English speaker as opportunity to improve your English a bit by by conversation and by learning your favorite instrument uh, at the same time. Um, one final thing is um, the way you see and hear me now is how you will see and hear me during the lessons. So we have uh, Logitech uh, 920 uh, HD camera, we have Sennheiser E uh, 114 uh, mic, um, so I think the quality is, uh, is sufficient. Of course I will be able to come closer to, to the lens to, to, to show you some specific things. That is, if you don't mind, uh, half of my head being cut off. Um, but yeah, uh, I think you will, uh, thanks to, to this uh, quality equipment, you will be able to see everything there is to see here. Um, so yeah, I sincerely hope that, uh, that I see some of you uh, on the other side of, of my camera. 
And for now, uh, check the link in the description for further de details and see you.